Recently, an anonymous prisoner wrote these words from inside. Well, I live again. I have soared the balconies of the skies above. Is it just a dream? I have lived in the ditches of the lowest debt. When I live again, only I know the truth. Is it all a lie? Being in prison is a different world and outside is... Changes outside and, you know, people, especially in a community. Well, when I would hear, I would go to Amu Bessie Sevens, I would go to Amu Bessie Sevens, I would say, what's your name, Mama, or 88, and I'm getting that from the day, but it comes back. I don't know what's the one. What's your name, Mama? 96. I'm going to put you back on them, then we've got another one, we've got another one, we've got another one, we've got another one, we've got Well, I was in prison for eight years, five months, and uh, I was uh, sent to prison for you no know, terrible crimes, attempted murder, pointing firearm, and theft. When mm -hmm. uh, you know, when you look back to uh, how did I get involved in into these crimes, you know, it's so stupid because you know it's just because of bad friends and you know getting indulged in uh, drugs, alcohol. And letting it control your way of life, and you know, and the influence of bad friends, but I also have myself to blame because you know I'm the one at the end of the day who makes the decisions. Tina, what is the case? Come on, as a fan, na manji. Why get kona la matraya kala se imoto eni oma in the group of those who are the group of guys kona lo zeka ati. Imoto <laughs> Sebenarnya <laughs> My car up for the We are two as near as in the residents of our age, as And in the you lose a lot you know, of your life, you know, you are your far away from your family, from the people that you care about, you cannot do what you want, you cannot live how you want, you cannot think what you want to think, you see, because you know you are controlled in every way. It's either you're controlled by the gangsters or you're co controlled by the authorities, you see. Oh, 26, 28, 27, 5, 1, 1, young girls are in danger. They're 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 in danger. They
It's a hard place. It's difficult. It was very difficult because, you know, in prison, especially by the prison gangsters, sometimes you are forced into situations like paying tax, like joining them. It's also as a band tool, it also helps because especially in prison, most of the guys inside prison are playing soccer every weekend, Saturdays and Sundays, and, and they look forward to it. Yeah. Like even if they get up to, you know, to, to do mischief, and, uh, you know, you just tell them no soccer for you this weekend, but, you know, and it gets to them because, you know, it's something like that they always look forward to. You know, me myself, when I was in prison, I, you know, I feel very bad looking at, you know, my fellow prisoners because there were fellow prisoners of mine inside who have committed, you know, terrible crimes that, uh, you know, that makes me feel ashamed. The influence of drugs inside prison was more than what it was outside. So I said to myself, you know, if I can make it here in prison, you know, face the responsibilities of, you know, not being, uh, you know, uh, mixed up in drugs and gangsterism. So what can stop me from changing? Let me work on my life. And the most important thing there is that the ex-offender has to accept responsibility for whatever crime he or she has committed. And that once one acknowledges responsibility, it actually helps in moving forward. Yeah, what I chose in prison is like, you know, being born again, giving my life to Christ, and, uh, you know, asking him to lead me all the way. And, uh, you know, on the day that I made that decision, I had so much of faith, and, you know, fear was a thing that was far away from me. And uh, I've always walked, you know, having faith. You know? Because when you're in prison, you know, when you go to eat, maybe it's breakfast or maybe it's lunchtime, you always got to look out, you know, of not being stabbed, of your head not being passed. But, you know, I had so much of faith and, you know, I shouldn't even worry about, you know, even turning my head and looking back because, you know, I knew that God is there watching over me. And as long as I did the right thing, 
He would always watch over me. Every prisoner, definitely the anxiety and the fear and anticipation as well of what to expect. Also depending on how long they've been away from the community. The longer the imprisonment, uh, the more difficult it is obviously to reintegrate. It's anxieties, expectations, fear, as you mentioned, of what to expect. Will they get the support from their family? Will they get the support from the community? Uh, you know, what am I going to do when I'm going to get released? Is there a job available from me? I don't have skills. Uh, you know, what I'm then going to do with my life, how do I carry on from Finding out that I'm divorced, and uh, secondly, you know, the changes outside, and uh, losing so much of my friends while I was in prison, and uh, you know, in difficult situations. The friends that you know that I used to go out with and do all the bad things. You know, some of them have you know, been shot. Some of them have been stabbed to death. And, you know that also played a major part in in changing me. So it was totally shocking to come out and you know find out that all of them are gone. So at the end of the day, I always sit down and ask myself the question. You know. If I was there with them, you know, would I still be alive? Would I be the David that I am today? understand? So I The integrated approach is very important where the family and the community is involved in a person's uh, reintegration. Uh, every individual has the opportunity to, to make a difference in their life. They have also the chance to make use of opportunities. And, um, you know, we believe firmly in the rights and responsibilities of individuals to do that. There's so much of roads that you want to walk onto, but, you know, it's, it's very, very hard, you know. So I'm just trying, like, each day to, you know, to take it a step at a time. Uh, like my first basic uh, step like, was to get to know my family because I don't even know most of my family members. It's not that I didn't want to know them, it's because of the life that I lived. You know, I didn't care about anybody. See? Like I don't even know most of my, of my relatives. See? Sometimes I meet a relative in town and they say, how's it, David? And, you know, I'm truly shocked because you know, I hardly know them. So you know, that's my main step that, you know, I want to move on now. I didn't give a damn about anyone. I always thought about myself first. And whatever I did, like, you know, but there was like no conscience in me. I never cared, you see. But, uh, you know, since I've been to prison, I've, you know, I've really, you know, worked uh, my life and you know, worked into my life and changed my whole uh, way of life. Yeah,
Yeah, if you stand in faith and you know believe in yourself, and and you say this is where I'm standing and I'm not going to move, you know, that's a positive step. You no, know? and you know just to walk all the way having that faith, you can make it, because that's the only place where you can change and become a better person. Little ipai pelin, ozani sitete indap, kuchero, noma izono zeno. Zizim beganga ganan. Noma is no zenu zingang is labati zolwang. O toa, ma si e go Jehovah, si o voma is no zetu, o go ze si tole o tetelela. Dalon lela, uma, soni le, no mangabe is no zetu, zizim beganga ganan. No mangabe sende into a sluku ganga ganan gomunyo, o toa, the funagala, si vome, si confess, o go ti, si be rongila, saba rongila, saba rongila, vitala in tetelela. Essentially, Bega <laughs> The, what I'm saying is that, you know, even if you're a man, you know, you're supposed to be tough as a man, but, you know, sometimes when I'm in my room at night, you know, I cry and I feel so afraid, you know, because looking at life and, you know, the difficulties and the changes, you know, it makes me feel so afraid, but uh, still deep in my heart and, you know, I still got that faith that, you know, I can be successful, I can succeed, you know, don't let this get me down and, uh, I get a lot of encouragement from my sister and uh, from a few people who know me, especially my pastor. And uh, you know, I'm just taking it from there, you know, trying to fit in and get over everything. You know. And I believe that you know I will make it because uh, deep in my heart there's something that's you no know, really positive. You know, let's keep on inspiring me. If I will I'd always go to town, maybe the two or three times in a week, you know, just to get to know people. Because, you know, being in prison is a different world and outside is a different world. So I've been in prison for so many years and, you know, I've missed out on a lot of changes outside and, you know, people especially the community you know? and uh, you know I just go outside to see what people are all about what they like and dislike you know and see if I'm still the same person you know uh, or whether I'm a person that can fit into the community and that helps me a lot because you know as I walk along town or you know I meet up with people that know me and, you know, and uh, it truly helps me it boosts me a lot because uh, I find that you know I'm still a person, but what makes me more happy now is that, you know, I'm a person that's able to fit into the community and, you know, I'm being liked by a lot of people and that, you know, makes me feel great because when I went to prison, before I can go to prison and uh, 
When I went to prison, I was disliked by a lot of people because of my life and the way I lived. I tried to I saw the food that you had there. I tried it. I turned the egg in. I turned it. Men and young said, Kabang would Kabang. You should visit a con. Kabang should Kabang. Go where is Mariti? Gilmog and you very superfugal is alone, then I understand that. Then the young said, Kabang and Pedro Nyang. Then get a man's with Gens Aranjan, put a Baba Fan and a Baba Nana Bassan, the Makal and Baba. Abandoning Babo. You want to do with Naku. We were chopping my Gagalo. Gabber reckons when you call him Gwenza, you never get another coming man. You want to do that? Well, you know, things have really changed. You know? Like, especially, well, say, you know, prices of things, like, you know, like sometimes now when I go into town, I'm even, you know, I even don't even, what can I say, I'm, I'm just afraid to even, you know, to window shop because of things being so expensive and, you know, and, uh, you know, when you are in, like, when I was in prison, they, like, the, we get things cheap there because, you know, we have uh, tuck shops inside, so we get, you know, special discounts as prisoners. And when you come outside to come and discover that, you know, things are so costly and, you know, the cost of living is high, it's truly amazing. And it's, you know, it's like, it's like you're being in a different world, you know, completely. Don't I think could you say over as in days name demanding a born as I am a put as cutting this Napambi? Go and give no mass and cares, mass and bodies cut, a single saying saying is more say than a saying saying is tied up and born with the eight. Scattered things, I'm a tumble, this cut is not saying as is in day and God, tumbling up a manji, so good, no good, no good, no good. Then Carl, I want to go to the best and each other with it. Go back to name. This is a little coming buena. His name is in the same Zenzi, the name Zenza. If I could get a job, like, you know, getting a job is a very important thing to me because there's so much I want to do, and especially, like, I've got a daughter, and, you know, she's looking up to me, so, you know, being a father without a job, like, you know, it's being useless because there's so much that your, that your child expects from you, and, uh, you know, you're not able to, you know, to give it to her. And for myself, too, as a man, you know, I need a job to, you know, to be able to, you know, to, to do whatever I wish to, you know, to do. And, you know, you cannot do nothing without a job. So, you know, that's my main aim in life. But I know that someday I will get a job, although it's difficult. But um, I'm just hoping. No matter how many people are in the world, they will be able Loko and Yeko, Yeko Gai, Ugobe Wain Gerko, Gabe and Yeko Wamina, Gabe and Salem from the singing way, and conclusion you sing them time that we'll tell you.